with some of that influence, one of the big initiatives that, of course, came across my radar was the medical market pushing back against metric and against uh, state traceability and just how much red tape comes with that, how it takes you three to five times in length to complete one workflow because of the system and everything else. I mean, you're experiencing it at, on, under the adult use side. And as you being one of the first adult use cultivation licenses, like you were trial and error and like just sure. trying to figure it out. And so taking that and then saying, no, the medical side doesn't need this and we can still have uh, safe products enter the market and more importantly, quality products entering the market as well. Just because you have this seed to sale system doesn't mean that that is synonymous with quality. Nope. And it doesn't. And I got I got the regulators to admit under test in testimony that it doesn't prevent diversion. So what what the hell are we doing? Yeah. What's the point? Except, except that yeah. they can pat themselves on the back. And, you know, it all comes back to the stigma. That's the thing that really gets in my craw is we're still treated like goddamn criminals. And it's, it's, and metric right. is like saw and lemon in that wound every single day. I mean, it is a terrible system. I'm sorry. It's a terrible company. I mean, we have to get after them just to get our invoice, our receipt of invoice every month so we can put it on our books. It takes like two or three emails. Yeah. So they're completely incompetent. They're just going to get worse. And I am going to fight like hell. So when I'm watching the Super Bowl on 2026, they don't have a halftime commercial or the halftime show brought to you by Metric, Cardi B, you know, brought to you by Metric, the gold standard in track and trace. That's what's going to happen if we don't do something. Um, you know, it's I mean, yeah. think about what their market cap would be if they if they if they got that, you know, and that's that's where they yeah. want to head. And it's not happening. I mean, they're inept. They're yeah. inept. And it's sad. There needs to be a system. We need to we need to have transparency. We need to track inventory. Then I get that. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to do this smokescreen cover so operators can do whatever the hell they want. It, it is it is tedious and tenacious and torturous how metric works. So it's completely unfair. We're pushing back on that hard and and we're we're getting results. So yeah, absolutely. And it's just like as I will sing this to I'm blue in the face. It's like I just feel like with uh, metric, they're more worried about market share and not actually improving their product. Oh, yeah. And second of all, I think that the tool could be significantly more powerful if there was some sort of like QR code or something on the final form product so the consumer could actually see from seed to sale where their product came from. And like if it was tested or remediated or did they like mess with the test results like California, for an example, if you're certified uh, of analysis, test results expire after 12 months, you can get it retested and keep it on the mm -hmm. shelf. So it's like, hey, I would like to see that in my product. Like I would like to know how long this has been sitting here, where it came from. Did it truly come from Southern Humble or did it not? And you're just using that branding. And I mean, that's against the regulations too. But anyways, um, but just there's pros and cons to it, but there's just so much more cons. And I just feel like watching Maine take that initiative forward and just fight back against it, just lit a fire under so many people. I mean, Oklahoma tried to do something similar, like with the whole metric implementation, but like that was a completely different scenario than yeah. Maine because Maine, you guys are actually pushing this through the legislature. Like you guys are actually like working with people on the ground in Oklahoma, it was very different because they just didn't have the regulatory framework for it. So they didn't have any structure around it, but. Mm -hmm.